Hey everyone, Squee913 here, uh, with Piff Zero. Hey. And we're doing some tests for Earth Defenders that I promised to do like a month ago and never got around to doing it. And, uh, it's quite substantial testing, so I figured I'd do it myself instead of overburdening our already overburdened testers. So, first up is, um, it's a continuation of a test I did where it was, uh, which we're working on, this is all working on normal Goku. Um, trying, we're trying to, uh, perfect him. Uh, versus, we're trying to figure out if we want normal Goku or Super Saiyan Goku, like if we want to start him as a Super Saiyan. And uh, I did a test earlier that was normal Goku with TNAI, with power body and uh, super plus two, charge minus one. And then we did super Goku with TNAI, super plus two, charge minus one, launch support and indignation. Now, if I remember correctly, Super Goku did great, but we wanted to, what we need to know is, was it he did great because of the build or because he was Super Goku? So we're going to actually run the exact same test swapping the builds. So we're going to give normal Goku what Super Goku had, and that should give us an idea of um, was it the build or the character that was doing so amazingly well. And that's pretty much going to be the whole basis of these tests is we're going to be testing a build and an AI and then swapping the build and the AI to see um, what's going on, yo's. Alright, so we're going to give Super Goku this one, which was what normal Goku was last time. And then we're going to give normal Goku custom 2, which was what Super Goku had. And we'll give him that one. And we're going to do all these in the hyperbolic time chamber. And we shall get started. Um, now, if, if you remember, mid Goku was like our biggest, not disappointment, but like unknown. Some matches he was fantastic, other matches he was just horrible. Yeah, I remember that back in the day. That was funny. <laughs> so he, he's been getting the brunt of our efforts to fix him up, because Krillin's been pretty solid overall. Yamcha was our best character last year, and Tien... We really feel like Tien was fine, just derping a lot. So Goku is, I feel, the one we need to work on the most. But so, okay, so... Obviously, it's easy to tell the difference between Super Goku and uh, uh, Basic Goku. Oh, I forgot to put Broly's ring on Basic Goku. But that's alright. Mm, we'll, we'll that's that. not good. I'll do it from this test forward. Um, but now we're checking out Super Goku has Power Body. Now, this is a, something we added at the end of Season 2 to... Um, see how that worked. It seemed to work pretty well because he, his moves were a lot less blockable. Hmm. Alright. Uh, yeah, we gave it to Yamcha too because his rush attacks, his um, ones where he rushes towards you, they they kept getting, like, basically he would just get punched out of them. Um, like what, what you just saw there, except instead of him using the power block, he would just kind of, you know, we'd launch a rush move, someone would just launch a quick jab and hit him out of it. Hmm. And so we figured power uh, power body would help reduce that. And it seems to work for the most part. I see every once in a while they'll still get knocked out of it, but it's much less. All right. Hmm. Uh, um, what does uh, Goku have? Hello? hello? Normal Goku has... Um, yeah. They both have TNAI, but normal Goku has uh, super up to charge minus one, launch support, and indi indignation. All right, and uh, it so, looks. Oh, go ahead. So uh, this is like looks like a spellcaster versus a uh, a tank character or something like that. Kind of, um, but they're both. Uh, yeah, it, Super Goku right now is more of a tank. However, he does have the super up too, so his uh, power moves or his uh, blast moves do more damage. Both of them have uh. it though. Um, what we wanted to go for on Goku is we want him to use his Blast 2 moves a lot. Um, wow. We Alright, we're gonna do- we, we're doing uh, best 2 out of 3 on all of mm -hmm. these. Um, and god, Super Goku just annihilated base Goku. Hang on, we'll be right back. Okay, now this is round 2. I did put Broly's ring on base form Goku, so... If this plays out anything like the last match, I think we're, we're, we're starting to see that Super Saiyan Goku is just overall better than base Goku. 
Maybe. Now, I have to go back and... I, I could be completely wrong. I'm fairly certain that the last test we had, Super Saiyan Goku was doing well. But I would actually have to re-watch that test to be sure. Because that was like a month ago. <laughs> yeah. You could, it, it could always just be just uh, a random thing. True, true. Well, which is why I'm gonna be- I'm basically gonna be doing about six tests with Goku to try and get rid of the random element. Yeah. Um, oh god, 13,000 points of damage. Whew. Charge-ups do hurt. Yeah, and when, you, and when you put that uh, super plus two on it, it's yeah. very impressive. The one thing- the reason why we're mainly considering changing him is that base Goku's biggest factor the spirit bomb, he never uses. I mean, we have him on TNAI, and he hasn't used it yet. Which, TNAI is the AI that is supposed to concentrate on your ultimate. Mm hmm So, and, and we've, we've, we've been looking at it, and overall, it looks like Super Saiyan Goku is more aggressive, fires off more moves, and just performs better overall. Hmm. I'm still wondering how everyone's gonna do their their builds for the next season. Me too, especially with the additions we made and the seven point build. Uh, assuming that goes through, we have to get. Um, what the heck is the seven point build? The one character on each team has seven points instead of five. Oh. But that's only if um, Dragon Ball Heroes choose someone who naturally has four bars of ener energy. Otherwise, we can't do it. Yeah. Gosh, and Super Saiyan Goku just annihilated base Goku even even worse than he did the first time. Sorry, but I couldn't afford to back. Gosh, it looks like that build is is very impressive. All right, be right back. Okay, guys, on to test two for mid-level Goku. Uh, this is basically the same as last time, except they both have Frieza AI. So Super Goku has um, power body and... Uh, Super plus two, charge minus one, and regular Goku has super plus two, charge minus one, indignation, and launch support. Uh, but they both have Frieza AI. And then after this, we'll swap the builds with the same AI. So th the whole point of this is to very methodically show A, is it the character that's good or the build? B, um... To be able to test the AI with all the builds so that we can see, we can basically hopefully analyze all of this and go, this AI was best with this build on this character. And sadly, this is pretty much the only way to do that, is to methodically test it. Yeah. It... It... Not... Hmm. Not sure exactly what I was... I'm trying to word this properly so it doesn't sound like an insult because it's not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Well, um, how about I you just, just throw it out there and I will understand that it's not intended as an insult. Really? Yeah. Alright. Um, each, each and every single, uh, I guess, captain would really want something like that. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's, you mean that's a, pretty test, much a test like that? Yeah, like, just really methodically done, uh, almost test every angle kind of thing. Well, if, 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 if it, if it makes you feel better, I've already considered that, and I do plan on upping up my testing, and, um, talking to our lead tester, and, uh, for the final month or so, to start trying to do something like this. Mm -hmm. See, that's just, like... I didn't. I, I meant that more as like a factual thing, other right, than like right. everybody should have this. Right. I, I understand where you're going. I understand where you're going. And and the simple truth is, I wouldn't test so much for my own team, and then that's it. No. I, I. I. This is basically the start of me getting back into testing. So from now on, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna be coordinating with the uh, with the testers, and every week we're gonna try and give every team this chance. Like, in fact, we might just do this. Like, every team, choose one character, and we will do these kind of tests for you. If you don't give up your evil right. ways, because I mean, I think that we could we could slam that out in a month or so. And God, Super Saiyan Goku again with the yeah man. Uh, and we're gonna fight again because it's best two out of three. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, if HJK is still testing, uh, I, I, I'm forgetting how to pronounce his name. Our lead tester right now, the guy that's been doing it, 
der, 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 I'm gonna look it up because I feel bad that I don't remember right now. <laughs> Good. My memory is horrible. But he's been amazing. He's been he's been throwing tests out left and right. Um, let me go and get to this. Where is it? Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, testers, that that I asked you for a pretty hefty uh, order. Oh, okay, I was right, Derangel. I was I was gonna say that, but like, no, that's not right. That's not it. Yeah, Derangel. I'll 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 get with him in HJK, and then we'll basically start trying to gear test towards this. Now, up until now, tests have been pretty. Just test whatever you want. And I think after this, we're, we're, we're going to say, this kind of testing will have preference. Like, every team can choose one character. They really want to have an in-depth test like this done. And we'll try and get those done. And then, if we get all that done, then you can start requesting more stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right. And also, for everyone who's watching this, and I, I put a, a post in there a long time ago, if you have the ability to test and record this stuff, and you want to help partaking of the test, you can test, um, even test for your own team, like what, what Piff did. Test for your own team, upload it to your YouTube channel, let us know, and then we will link it into the test for, uh, into the test playlist. Because my, my theory of it is, tests help everyone. I mean, even other teams can watch this test and learn stuff. You know, it won't be tailored to them, but they could all look at this and go, okay, this build worked really well, maybe we should try that. Or this AI worked really well, maybe we should try that. Um, so, it, it, I think that tests can help everyone. So if you do tests for your team and you record it and you upload it, as long as it's not like a hundred tests or something, then just let us know and we can link it into the test uh, thread. The only thing I'm against is people running tests by the on their own and then just going to the team and going, okay, so I did this and this is what I got. Yeah. That's not so good. No. And Super Saiyan Goku is destroying him again. Wait, he might actually pull out his ultimate. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, Man, here it we would go. hurt quite a bit. Here we oh go. no. Oh he dodged it! <laughs> <laughs> Angry command, man. That's not good. Uh, that only did five thousand. Oh, I guess he blocked it. Yeah. But still, still. <laughs> <laughs> and they're charging up again, just like the TV show. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's. Yeah. So Super Saiyan Goku is been annihilating base Goku. Mm. All right, we'll be right back. All right. So this is test three, which is um. Frieza AI uh, for both, but we're just swapping the builds. In other words, we're giving uh, each of them the builds the other character had. Yes, I was wondering about that. Like, is it, is it the builds or is it the characters? And this we'll find out. Now, we're already pretty confident that these builds are strong. Um, we're not, we'll have to analyze this more to figure out which one we prefer, but both builds seem pretty solid. The power body and the charge, or the charge launch point and indignation. I'm starting to think the power body is probably a little better, but we'll see. Because right now, uh, uh, normal Goku has the power body build, so we'll have to just take a look. And we'll know, we'll know that if, if normal Goku beats the crap out of Super Saiyan Goku, then it's the build more than it's the character. Or vice versa, yeah. yeah. They seem to be all tied up at the moment. Yeah. Normal Goku is not having much of a chance to do anything. <laughs> you wouldn't that powerful body. That is a lot of damage. Yep. Because of that Super Plus 2. Which is why I've limited it to only one of those per team. One Super... Uh, one of each type of Blue Patara per team. Otherwise, we would just have teams with a bunch of Super Plus 2s, Defense Plus 2s. Wow, I don't know how that... What? What? Maybe he was mm -hmm. on the ground, but poor poor Goku got gypped there. Yeah. Well, um... Ooh. They seem to be doing about the same as they were before. I think Goku's not getting as butt-kicked as oh, he was before. They're about even now, yeah. But, um, he's just really lucky that that meteor combo hit before that Kamehameha did. <laughs> yeah. I'm 
Oh, he's angry. He sounds angry. Oh, wow. He's like, I'm angry. <laughs> Can't you see how angry I am? But that that is a pretty impressive move. Which one? The I'm angry? Yeah. Yeah. It's some nice buffs. And I think this is it for Goku. Yeah. So, even with the exchange build, Super Saiyan Goku was pretty dominant. We'll give it one more go. And, uh, my... So, well, go ahead, go ahead. So what if Super Goku wins all of these? Like, does that just mean, like, he's just a better character? Yes. Or, um, okay. I mean, overall, for, that's the most obvious one. If, like, Super Saiyan Goku wins all these, I'm pretty sure it's a it's a sure bet that we're gonna take him over normal Goku. And then what it'll right. become a process of is, okay, so Super Goku won all these, but which one did he win the best? You know what I mean? And then we'll look at what build that was, what AI that was, that kind of thing. Alright. Like, okay, sure, he won all of them, but this one, he stomped them. So maybe we should look at that. Pretty even so far, so far. And it does look like that Goku, the base level Goku, is doing better with the power body, just not winning. <laughs> right. If I if I had to stop the test here, I would say that the power body and the plus two is a really good build, and all that we would really need to concentrate on is, you know, which AI did he really do the best at. He did pretty good with Frieza, I think he did a little better with Tien. We haven't tried Vegeta yet, so oh god. Oh he flew oh, right into that wow. one. Oh wow. That was not good. <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive. That was a I I thought that, that Kamehameha would have gone down like a while ago. I know, right? So the Kamehameha sometimes it does seem like it just lasts forever. I love how it just like stayed there and then he ran into it and then still took pretty much the brunt of the damage, yeah. if not all of it. How long does that beam go on for? About three or four minutes. Like, like, if you got... For about, a, about an episode and a half. That's why we call it the fire hose. <laughs> God, Goku is... He's uh, killing it, this one. Yeah, so I'm yeah. pretty sure uh, it's it, it's starting to become pretty apparent that um, he didn't win last match, but he did better. That the power body is um, is helping base Goku. Mm-hmm. Oh, looks like he's turning around a bit. Yeah. Just a bit. Just, just a tad. Just a tad. Just a smidgen. Just God, and look at that. With that super plus two, a normal blast move at 11,000 points. <laughs> and that uh, now that I'm mad, God, you're right. It gets him in max power, gives him a crap load of buffs. It's it's an amazing blast one move. And look at this, he turned it around. <laughs> so so <laughs> base level Goku did better with the power body, but not good enough. All right, and this is the last set of uh, tests for Goku tonight. It is the exact same builds with Vegeta AI. Um, so we have base Goku with power body and power up to, I mean, uh, super up to power down one with Vegeta AI. And then Super Saiyan Goku with super up to charge down one launch support indignation with Vegeta AI. Let's see if uh, base level Goku can do anything. I'm, I mean, obviously I will have to converse, my team will, but at this point, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a shoe-in for Super Saiyan Goku. Yeah. He's had one match that was close, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, um, I really don't know these characters too well. Well, I, I do remember Goku not doing too well, just in general. Almost as, like, any character, like, Super Saiyan, normal, mid, low, present, or whatever the other ones are. Right. And, I think it was end or something like that. Except for, except for GT, Goku, I have not 
making a Goku actually do like very well. Very unbalanced character. Yeah, he is. Um, he he has his moments of glory, and then he has his moments of not glory. Um, but that's what we're hopeful for. This Super Saiyan Goku. Now, granted, he's fighting Goku, but mm -hmm. the Super Saiyan Goku seems to be pretty consistent. And um, that's why that's why we were doing this test. We were noticing in uh, season two that when he went Super Saiyan form, he got a lot more aggressive. And God, look at that blast one move. Oh my gosh. Uh, but when he t went Super Saiyan, he seemed to get a lot more aggressive, pump out a lot more moves. Nice block from Goku, but that almost uh, took out all his energy. Yeah, um, that's what I, I, I'm. I'm looking at those those blast ones where they give you all of that energy, like you're at max power. You have all these buffs on. I'm like, that's kind of cool. And then you you see that right afterwards after you, the grayed out, out of charge. That what you're yeah. talking about? Yeah. You just like yeah. I can't like I can't honestly. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Looks like I might. Uh, Twenty-one thousand points of damage. Good lord! Uh. <laughs> oh man! And it makes it even harder because not only does he have grayed out charge right now, but he his he has the Patara that's super mm. plus two charge minus one. Yeah. So it makes his charging even slower. It's definitely a uh, um He's a debatable move. <laughs> God. <laughs> and like the I, I think the the one thing that I really don't like about that is it won't go away until you charge it all the way up. Until you're charged to five. Or tag out, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, it is it is it is a uh, a question of whether you like it or not. Um it it's definitely a okay, um sacrificing later to do damage now. And um it can work well if you do it well. One one thing uh, we're gonna have to fight again. God, you know what though? <laughs> Even though mid uh, base level Goku won that, he only won it because he connected with a rare spirit bomb. Otherwise, and he still almost lost. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but no, what I was gonna say is like for example, Yamcha has that problem too. He has a, a a blast one that does the same thing. And a lot of times, what we'll do is we'll try and counter it a little bit with uh, launch support and. Um, Fighting spirit, which your charge goes up as your life goes down, and it counters it a bit. Mm -hmm. And if you can counter it, it's great because it's almost like a free ultimate, or at least a free max power. Yeah. But, yeah, but you have to counter it, and uh, that's going to be one problem with the um, with the power body. If we want to put power body on him and the super plus two, we're not going to be able to counter that great out. So that's going to be something we have to think about. Because once he uses that, I mean, you know, it seems like he does well with Power Body. But once he uses that Blast 1 move, it's going to be impossible to get energy. Yeah. Oh, look at base Goku. Yeah. He actually hit with that. I'm actually very surprised because I think... I think he like hit it down at a down angle. I'm about to hit the floor and he still got say, that he catch. Took, he took two and a half bars down without even getting hit. It definitely looks... Well, he did... Oh, go ahead. He did... Uh, use a move that did more than a single bar of damage. Yeah. I think he also did another super that was... Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. did do two supers. He did. And it's because of his super plus two that it did so much damage. Um, so it definitely looks like Goku... Base Goku does better with the power body. And uh, it looks like he's doing pretty good with the Vegeta AI, too. But... Still not that good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Overall. Now, see, the that's a nice blast one from Goku. It, it has all <laughs> the same effects, except it just doesn't give him max power. And he has right. no negative effect from it. Right. It's better than using the, uh, the give me power one. <laughs> right. In my opinion. Oh, yeah. Unless you can connect with that spirit bomb, which he does not like to do. He does not like to use it, and good luck getting it, yeah. you know, hit the person. And then, yeah, I was going to say, the one time he uses it, it almost never connects. It's so sad. 
Oh, there we go. I'm angry. Better use it while you have it. Oh no. That's not using it. Yeah, that's... I think that's done. Yeah. What's that yeah. defense actually? Wow. Yeah. Well, Goku, base level Goku. Now he won two matches in a row. One I think was just because of the spirit bomb, but that one he actually, he actually outperformed him. So that's something to look at. The power body with the Vegeta AI was not bad, but let's see what happens when we switch it. All right. So this is the final test. We uh, swapped out the uh, builds. So Super Saiyan Goku has power body and power, uh, super up two charge down one, and regular Goku has the other build. Um, with Vegeta AI, and uh, we'll see we'll see how this goes. I have a suspicion, if I'm making a uh, a prediction, that Super Saiyan Goku is gonna annihilate this Goku. And if that's, that's the probably case, a... a safe assumption. <laughs> mm -hmm. If that's the case, then to me the results of this testing will look like Super Saiyan Goku with Power Body and Super Up Two was the overall choice to take. Now, we would still have to look at which AI was the best, but to me, if, if, if Super Saiyan 2 uh, makes a, a, a run on these two matches, that to me is was what the information's shouting to us. <laughs> <coughs> and so far, living up to its word. Base Goku hasn't even been able to... There we go, now he's trying something. There, and that did absolutely, like, nothing. <laughs> it did a thousand points of damage. Yay. Because of power body, Goku was able to, to hit through it. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty impressive because it's just power body and it's only supposed to do physical thing. No, yeah, no, actually, yeah, that's true. Huh, I didn't think about that. Well, it might have been something else that made him let him go through it. Could have just been, uh, you know, he was in the right place at the right time or something. I don't know. You know how this game goes sometimes. Meteor combination. I baseball. presently do not know. You do not know. I do not know how this game goes sometimes. <laughs> you lie. You lie. To be honest, I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> Excuse me. How do you get your, your hair to do that? My hair always gets this weird cow lick. Yeah. I think eggs have something to do with it. Eggs and super glue. Eggs oh. was the glue of the past. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't remember, know why. I just remember my father telling me once that people used to put egg in their hair to make it stay up. Huh. I heard eggs were literally glue in the past. I guess that makes perfect sense then, doesn't it? <laughs> And, yeah, it looks like Super Saiyan Goku is just annihilated base form Goku. And, we'll try it one more time. Just one more time. Just one more. Just one, one more little, little pip of a test. Which, um, uh, maybe we'll go to three. <coughs> no, no. How do you get such radically different hairstyles? I mean, I'm okay with changing the color, but I mean, how do you get it to style differently? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a hairstylist. You have to ask. I'm gonna power up, and now I have a different hairstyle. <laughs> well, the idea is that the hair is just standing up on it, like it's all standing up, straight up, because of the amazing energy. We'll explain three then. It's amazing energy. <laughs> the energy is I now. Have my eyebrows disappeared? <laughs> Long freaking hair. The energy is it, like in Super Saiyan one and two. The energy is so amazing the hair stands up. In Super Saiyan three, it's so much more amazing that it actually goes back down. <laughs> It's really long. I don't. I don't even. How do you just grow hair like that oh, and man. then ungrow that hair? You know, when <laughs> Super Saiyan three came around, they were just grasping at straws. Like, we got to do something to make them look good. Let's just make it long hair. 
Make and him have a freaking forehead, no eyebrows. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, if you think about it, there's a, a part in the Cell Saga when Gohan first goes Super Saiyan, he had long hair to start with. So his long hair went Super Saiyan. I was like, so does that make him a Super Saiyan 3? <laughs> oh. Oh, gosh. No. Ow. Oh. I'm so excited. Ouch. Oh. Oh, my kidneys. <laughs> yeah. This was a... I love how Goku was getting sick and got kicked in the face. <laughs> this is a mud stomping. So, in conclusion... Oh, he's fighting back! <gasps> huh? <clears throat> he, he might be able to do something. Maybe. Maybe. Or not. <laughs> yeah, so in conclusion... Um, my recommendations to my team, and of course we'll talk about this more behind our closed doors, is, um... A mystery. I think Goku has some weird hair problem. What's with the front thing? Where, like, the front of his hair goes down? Amazing like energy! <laughs> with the bangs! Yeah, yeah, it's because the energy, it's amazing. <laughs> I want to see what happens when a fro goes Super Saiyan. Oh my gosh. I think the world would fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone. Bye. <laughs>